Okay, hey everybody, welcome to the Sangosa Kingdom Wars walkthrough. So what I have here is uh, my own personal deck of Sangosa Kingdom Wars. I have the green color version. Of course, there is the red color, blue color, gray color version. And the question I get asked quite a bit is, um, what's the difference between all the different colors? Well, essentially, no difference. They are all the same. Okay, so everything on the inside is the same. It's just that the artwork is different for each one of them. So the green one I have here, obviously, is the Wu Guo one. So there's a picture of Xiao Qiao and Zhou Yu here. Don't ask me why they draw it to look so bad, okay? But um, I have no idea why they redid the decoration. Anyway, this is my, like I said, this is my own pack. And uh, I'll be very honest and tell you right now, the packaging of this pack is um, not fantastic, as you can see. After a couple of weeks of playing, it's a um, little bit torn at the corners. But um, that being said, everything else on the inside is pretty good. So if you open it up, you'll see there's the Chinese menu. Okay. And you have all the cards right here. So the quality of the cards are pretty decent. In fact, actually, a lot of people have been saying that it's, it's quite good. Uh, the people that have been playing with compared to the original Sanko Sao, of course. Okay, I gotta say this first. This walkthrough here is meant for the the players who are already experienced in Sanko Sao. So I'll not go through a lot of the basic rules. So, yeah, so just so you know. Uh, I'll just quickly run through what are the things that are different between the Kingdom Wars and the original Sanko Sao. Okay. Firstly, as you can see here, I'm holding the playing cards. Uh, it's very obvious that the backing of the cards is different. Uh, so you can no, you you cannot mix these cards with the original Sankosa game deck. Th that's not the point. You're not supposed to mix it up, because this is a this Kingdom Wars is a standalone game set. Okay, so don't mix up the players together. Don't mix up the cards together. Just play this on its own. These are all the playing cards that you have in total, and you would notice that it's not a lot of cards, uh, and that's a good thing. Because uh, in the previous Sangosa, or at least in the original Sangosa, you throw in all the expansions, you would have quite a lot of cards, and you would have um, quite a few more armor cards, and you find it very difficult to get rid of them, especially in a stalemate at the end. They've done away with a lot of that. Uh, and for example, there's only one lightning card left, so it's actually a good thing. It balances out the game a lot more. Yeah. So these are the playing cards. These here are the character cards. Once again, the backing is different. Okay. It says over here and let me just explain to you what is different in the characters I'll just show you a close-up right here this is this is Zhuge Liang okay so for Zhuge Liang firstly you can notice that the frame is different okay, the artwork on the frame is different and the artwork for Zhuge Liang is different it's, it's not different for all the characters some of the characters are the same see but for some characters or oh, actually I think about only uh, 10 of them have different artwork okay different artwork the next thing that you will notice is that the number of health is also different this one only has 1.5 units of health in the past Zhuge Liang has three okay this has only 1.5 the abilities are approximately the same they have revised it slightly to make it more clear but essentially it's the same character yeah so that's that you would also notice some characters down here have a name at the bottom this one says Huang Ye Ying that's for its synergistic characters. Not all characters have this, only some of them do. Yeah. So obviously the red color one is for Su Guo. I have here a green color one which is from Wu Guo. Uh, gray color ones from Neutral Kingdoms, Chun Xiong. And blue color ones from Wei Guo, for example. In total, there are exactly 60 character cards. 60, no more, no less. 15 character cards per kingdom. So it, it all balances out. There, is, there isn't a chance that you get more characters from one particular kingdom so they're all balanced out not to worry there okay some more character cards here not not gonna go through this one okay this is the other thing that is slightly different health cards well obviously the some of the artwork has been changed you see half health units but that's not important in fact you can completely ignore that for all purposes of this game this is a four unit health card and this is three unit health card so what's different what's different is that there's no longer five unit health cards everything is either three units or four units that's it no more five units the other thing that's different is that now there are 12 health cards technically speaking you can play kingdom wars up to 12 players not just 10 so that's the other thing that's different 
and of course there's one other major difference he is in these white color row cards here this is known as the Ye Xingjia row card or translated it to become uh, uh, ambitionist okay so in the past you used to have Zhu Gong and Zhong Chen and Nei Jian and whatsoever right you don't have any of those anymore they're all gone this is the only roll card that you have Ye Xingjia now what this does I'll go in a little bit more detail later on okay so in short this is all the cards that you have in Kingdom Wars it's quite a compact uh, set of cards there's no extra frills here and there you just get the cards that you need and they quite for the game and that's about it so pretty straightforward yeah so if you want a, a quick summary of what are the differences between uh, Sun Guasa and Kingdom Wars like I've mentioned here uh, purchase it online from sinogames.com I will give you a PDF guide to go along with it so there's just a quick guide for you to know exactly what are the differences and how to set up the game yeah so of course you have the menu that comes to the game but everything is in Chinese if Chinese is okay for you good if Chinese is not your strong thing well you still have my guide for you okay so this is the Kingdom Wars introduction for now in the next video I will show you how to set up the game and what's different in the gameplay so see you then